Hey everyone, I'm Ganit Hamong Supasawat from University of Washington. Today, I'm going to present our work on Voyager 2 Augmenting Visual Analysis with Partial View Certification. This project is a collaboration between UW and Tableau Research. In this project, we aim to improve interaction method for exploratory visual analysis. Exploratory analysis typically involves two high-level tasks. First, analysts often begin their analysis with a broad exploration to examine different fields in the data set. After getting a broad overview, they may focus on answering specific questions. Investigating these questions may spark exploration of potentially relevant fields, in turn leading again to more focused analysis. While visual analysis involves part of these tasks, existing tools are designed primarily only for exploration or question answering. Traditional visualization tools require manual specification. For example, Tableau offers a drag and drop interface that lets users build an expressive range of charts. This kind of interfaces can be useful for question answering. However, manually creating plots can be tedious for exploration. As a result, analysts may fixate on specific questions or overlook important insights in the data. To help promote breadth in early stage exploration, our pilot system called Voyager shows recommended visualization based on user selection, allowing analysts to explore data without the need to manually create views. To evaluate this recommendation approach, in this prior work, we conduct a user study comparing Voyager with Pulsar, a visualization tool model after Tableau. In this study, subjects conduct exploratory analysis on previously unseen data. The study results show that Voyager better facilitate exploration as browsing recommendation is less tedious. However, Pulsar better facilitate question answering as users have more control to create views specific to their goals. As exploratory analysis involves broad tasks, analysts may better benefit from a unified tool that supports broad interaction methods. Toward this goal, we present Voyager 2, a mixed initiative system that combines the method of certification and recommendation with partial view certification. In this talk, I will first show Voyager 2's interface design. I will then describe how we enable both certification and recommendation using the Compass QL visualization query language. Finally, I will describe our user relation. Let's first look at the interface design. In version 2, users can transition among multiple interaction methods to perform both exploration and question answering. Similar to Tableau, users can create arbitrary views using a drag and drop interface. Moreover, we contribute two new partial certification interfaces. Based on the main view specified by users, version recommends related views to promote discovery of relevant data fields and alternative ways to summarize or encode the data. Moreover, Voyager 2 provides wildcards to let users simultaneously create multiple charts by varying chart properties. To demonstrate these interactions, let me show you how you can use Voyager 2 to explore CARS dataset. Open loading dataset. The system lists the name and type of all fields on the left. The middle pane shows encoding shelf that users can drop all fields to specify visual encodings. The main view on the right shows the specified view on the top. As users haven't specified any visual encoding, this view is initially empty. Below the specified view is the related view section. Without the need to manually create views, the related views initially show univariate summaries to help analysts familiarize with all fields in the dataset. Looking at the summaries, we can see that most cars have even number of cylinders. There are also multiple cars in the record with the same name. Most of these cars are from USA, some are from Europe and Japan. And these are pretty old cars from the 70s. Scrolling down, we can also see distribution of all other quantitative fields. After exploring each field in the data set, the analyst may want to explore bivariate relationships between different pair of fields. The analyst may manually drag and drop different pair of fields to the encoding shelf. However, repeatedly doing this can be tedious and require the analyst to have discipline to systematically cover all interesting pair of fields. Instead, to help analysts create multiple views in parallel and rapidly explore different relationships, version 2 provides wildcards for varying chart properties. Below the list of fields, on the left are the wildcard fields, which can be used to encode multiple data fields. To let the system pick appropriate encoding mappings, 
User can drop any data field or wildcard fields onto the wildcard shelf. For example, dropping two quantitative field wildcards to the wildcard shelf produce a gallery of scatter plot between all pairs of quantitative fields. The system automatically assigns each pair of fields to X and Y axis, as they are the most perceptually effective encoding channels. To help analysts focus on different aspects of the data, Voyager 2 prioritized data variation over design variation. Basically, it shows different combination of data fields rather than different visual encoding of the same fields. With this gallery, users can easily explore bivariate relationship between all pairs of quantitative fields. For example, we can see that horsepower and miles per gallon appears to have a quadratic relationship. Basically, cars with higher horsepower tends to have less miles per gallon. We can also hover an outlier to see tooltip and take a note about it. To further drive recommendation based on this view, user can use the focus button to promote this view to be the main specified view. Clicking the view updates both the encoding shelf and the specified view on the top. Based on this specified view, we just two recommend different kind of related views. The related summary section suggests alternative ways to summarize the data. For example, given the scatter plot on the top, we can see a 2D histogram of the same two fields down here. Scrolling down more, we can see the field suggestion section, which adds one additional field to the specified view to promote discovery of relationships that we might otherwise overlook. For example, in this plot, we can see that many cars from USA have higher horsepower and lower mass per gallon. This is interesting. So let's focus on this view to see other recommendation. So now the specified view and the related view updates. Looking at the mean values in the related, uh, related summary section confirms that cars from USA on average have higher horsepower and lower miles per gallon than Japanese and European car. Scrolling down, Voyager 2 also suggests alternative encodings, such as facetting the plot into a small multiple instead of using color encoding. Scrolling down more, we can see the field suggestion section, which we may discover different factors that we might otherwise overlook. For example, considering the number of cylinders, we can see that actually cars from USA with four and six cylinders have comparable number of horsepower and miles per gallon. It's just that US, the only country that produces cars with eight cylinders, which of course has higher horsepower and low, lower miles per gallon. So if you, are, you, if you want to buy a US car without paying too much for gas, just don't buy a car with too many number of cylinders. With these interaction methods in a single unified system, analysts can transition between both rapid exploration and creating specific plots to answer their analysis questions. Now that we have seen the interface, Next, I'm going to describe CompassQL, a visualization queue language that enables both specification and recommendation in Voyager 2. So why is a language important? One insight from prior work on visualization tools and grammar is that expressive languages are key to support a broader range of graphics. For example, Tableau has an underlying formalism com called com uh, VisQL. Similarly, at the lab, we have developed the Vega-like grammar to build Polestar and the original Voyager system. To support specification and recommendation in Voyager 2, CompassQL is a generalization of the Vega-like grammar to describe an organized collection of charts. A query in CompassQL has two main components. First, the partial specification has a structure similar to Vega-like, but can contain wildcards to indicate wiring properties of a visualization collection. As this collection may have redundant charts, a query also describes a recommendation method to group redundant views, choose a top exemplar in each group, and order the list of recommendations. Let's first take a look at a normal specification, which describes a single view. Given a visual specification in the interface on the left, we can have a textual representation in Vega Lite that directly maps to the UI and in turn produce the visualization on the right. In CompassQL, we allow this specification to uh, define multiple views using wildcards. For example, to support automatic mark selection in the UI, we may use wildcard to describe mark 
in the specification. Now all specification describe a collection of charts that use uh, different marks. You might notice that some of these visualizations actually violate design principles. For example, as origin is the categorical field, using area and line might suggest a trend that doesn't exist in the data. Compass UI engine actually automatically include design constraint to prove misreading and codings. Finally, to pick a single mark, the query choose the top view based on effectiveness score. With this query, we can automatically pick a mark for users in Voyager 2. So next, let's see how we can produce a query for wildcards in the UI. For example, earlier we dragged two quantitative fields wildcards to the wildcard shelf. As you may expect, the specification now contains a lot of wildcards. The wildcard shelf mapped to wildcard for encoding channels in the specification. Similarly, the wildcard fields produce wildcard for fields in the specification. Note that these wildcard fields are also constrained to enumerate fields that match the field type. Enumerating all different data fields and visual encoding will lead to combinatorial explosion. For example, just enumerating visual encoding for a fixed pair of fields already produces a number of different designs. So guess what if we enumerate both encoding and fields? Oh well, you get a lot of charts. <laughs> Recommending all of this will only overwhelm the analyst. To reduce redundant displays, Voyager 2 prioritize showing variation of data fields over design variation of the same data. To do so, Voyager 2 group recommended views with a similar data field. For each group, it then choose the top view based on effectiveness score. And finally, it then ordered the view by field name to provide consistent order to make it easier to read. And with that, we produce a gallery of scatter plot between all pairs of quantitative fields. Using Compass UL, we can also infer query for recommending related views. For example, given a specified view and its specification on the top, we can recommend related summaries using a similar specification, but add wildcards for summary function, including bin and mean. To organize the recommendations, we then again group by similar data fields and choose an other suggested view based on the effectiveness score. With this query, we can create a query for the related summary section. And using similar technique to add wildcards, we can make other recommend, uh, rec we can recommend other type of related views using compassive L as well. Uh, but for our detail, please refer to the paper. Uh, in this last part, I'm going to show how we can, uh, evaluate Voyager 2. So we conduct a user study comparing Voyager 2 with Polestar, a manual certification to model after Tableau. This study design allows us to directly contrast the effect of the new partial certification interfaces, including wildcard and related view. For our user study, we recruit graduate students and researchers with prior data analysis experience to perform exploratory analysis on previously unseen data set. Note that we use a study design similar to an earlier study to allow for cross study comparison. The first main question we analyze is whether Voyager to promote data coverage. To answer this question, we analyze the user's log and consider the number of unique fields set that are shown and interact with via mouse hovering and bookmarking. These two metrics uh, provide lower and upper bound for number of fields that user actually examine during the analysis. Similar to Voyager, Voyager 2 leads to significantly more unique fields just shown and interact with compared to Polestar. Thus, it improves data coverage, oops, sorry, uh, compared to a manual certification interface. Similar to the prior study, we also ask users to rate value of each tool for both question answering and exploration. To compare ratings across study, we show the result of the new study on the top and the prior study on the bottom. For x-axis, points on the left mean that users prefer Polestar for a particular task. Conversely, points on the right mean that users prefer Voyager or Voyager 2. For exploration, users similarly favor both Voyager 2 and Voyager over Polestar. For question answering, the rating confidence interval for the new study overlaps with zero, showing that Voyager 2 is late compared to Polestar. Comparing to previous study where Polestar is preferred, we find that Voyager 2 improved over the original Voyager 
for question answering. Overall, Virtual can better facilitate both expression and question answering compared to the original Virtual and Polestar. For qualitative feedback, we receive praise for both related view and wildcard. For example, one subject file wildcard useful for comparing uh, all different categorical and quantitative fields. Another subject mentioned that Virtual 2 does all the summary charts for you, whereas I spend most of the time building similar summary charts in Polestar. Despite having more features than Polestar, many subjects express that Virtual 2 is easier to use. One subject says that I like that Virtual show me what fields to include into, in order to see a specific graph. With Polestar, I have to do a lot of trial and error and couldn't express what I wanted to see. Another participant mentioned that I feel more confident using Virtual 2. It helped me to learn. Polestar feels scarier and like using the older SPSS tools. Virtual 2 seems more user friendly. Overall, the study shows that Virtual 2's combination of specification and recommendation can successfully facilitate bot exploration and question answering. In terms of future work, we are excited to explore how we can scale specification and recommendation in Virtual 2 for data sets with larger number of fields. In, addi in, sorry, in addition, our lab study also showed promising results for our partial specification approach, but as some of you may have Seeing the great debate between the idea of computer as two and computer as agents, it's also important to conduct more study to better understand the benefit and drawbacks of increased automation in the analysis process. Finally, I would like to mention that to support this and other research, all components in Voyager 2 are open source as separate modules uh, on vega.github.io. And with that, I'm happy to take questions. Thank you. So we have time for a few questions. Are there questions? So, oh, yes, please. Hi. Uh, very nice. Uh, Tim Dwyer, Monash University. Um, yeah, this tool looks great. Um, if I understand your results correctly, I think you were saying that um, Voyager 2 is better for pure exploration where you don't really know what type of visualization, what set of attributes you want to visualize in advance. Why, whereas the Polestar uh, approach was better if you know in advance what attributes you want to visualize. Um, uh, is, is that correct? So, if, so are you saying uh, is Voyager 2 better for one task and Polestar better for another? Is yeah, that, that's the way I understood it. Uh, so actually, the, so the result we compare two things. Uh, one is uh, for exploration because uh, Voyager 2, uh, similar to earlier Voyager system, provide recommendation. This means that uh, you don't have to tediously manually specify views. So for exploration, Voyager 2 is, is better than Polestar. Uh, for question answering though, because Voyager 2, in Voyager you can do anything you can do in Polestar. You can create views anywhere you want. So it's equally good for question answering. And then and we, compared to original Voyager, where you cannot really create views with freedom, then this kind of improve in both aspects. I see, I, yeah, got it, thank you. Gregorio Convertino, Informatica. Um, very nice work, thank you for presenting. I was wondering if you could uh, spend a few more words on how the mixed initiative works, and uh, if as future work, have you considered the ability for the user to pick more than one of the options? Uh, can you say the last part? I only hear that, uh, can yeah. I say more about mixed initiatives uh, approach? So I understood that one of the options is the one that the user can focus on, right, as yeah. a feedback. So first I would like to understand what is the system learning out of that, if it's a specification on the representation versus the, the attributes. And if you, as a future work, if you are considering the user to be able to, to specify more than one of the options available. Yeah. So to answer the question, uh, so it's mixed initiative in terms of